Ladies and gentlemen, I have some breaking Star Wars news to share with you guys today, and it involves the third season of The Mandalorian. Apparently, people are not watching. And this is being reported by Giant Freaking Robot, a very reputable publication, so you can trust them. But they are stating that the viewership for The Mandalorian Season 3 is just not there. And this is troublesome, because The Mandalorian is the bread and butter of Disney+. Plus. I can't tell you how many people I know, me included, only have Disney Plus because of The Mandalorian. But of course those idiots over at Disney and Lucasfilm don't understand why people are not watching. And in this video, I am going to explain to you as to why. Because it is very simple, right? Anybody with two brain cells understands why not that many people are watching. But let's get into what Giant Freaking Robot is reporting. The Mandalorian Season 3 has been able to revive the downslide of Disney. What was once the most successful Star Wars series debuted 28% lower than the Obi-Wan and worst of all behind the much dreaded Book of Boba Fett. The Mandalorian Season 3 debuted with a lower rating than the Kenobi series and the Book of Boba Fett. And it's because of this reason that Disney is panicking. Because you have to understand, The Mandalorian, that's their bread and butter. This is their most successful show. This is the reason why millions subscribe to Disney+. Plus. So they just don't understand why not that many people are, are watching. And it certainly isn't because of the writing. The writing is fantastic. I would argue that this season of The Mandalorian is better than the last. So far. I know we're only three episodes in, but so far, it's it's been fantastic. The writing is great. The world building is awesome. They're bringing in a lot of things that we that we loved from what is now Legends, right? Like the Mystosaur. I mean, everything about this season so far is perfection. It's 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 awesome. Yet people are still not watching, and Disney doesn't understand why. So here, I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it to those dummies over at Disney, over at Lucasfilm. The reason why not that many people are watching season three of The Mandalorian is because season three of The Mandalorian is on Disney Plus, and unfortunately for you idiots. People are canceling their Disney Plus subscription, okay? And it's and it's for a number of reasons, but I'm going to tell you the two main reasons, right? Number one, parents do not want to have to explain to their children why certain things are being shown to them on what are thought to be kids' movies, right? And you guys know what I'm talking about, and I'm not going to discuss it. That's not what this video is. I don't want to get into it. And the second reason why people are canceling is because we hate what you're doing to these shows and these movies that we loved, right? We hate the fact that you guys gave us the Book of Boba, right? Which was supposed to be this epic story about this badass Boba Fett, right? The Boba Fett we saw in season two of The Mandalorian. And that's not what we got at all. What we got was this pussy that needs the Power Rangers with Tatooine to save him. And then they told us that we were going to get a Kenobi series. A Kenobi series that we've always wanted. They told us we're going to get the rematch of the century. Right? That's all we saw. And instead what we got was the Reva Redemption arc. And to be honest with you guys, I considered canceling my subscription to Disney Plus after the Kenobi series. I really did. But ultimately, what caused me to stay was the fact that Jon Favreau and Dave Filoni are still involved over at Lucasfilm. And thank God, because if those two left Lucasfilm, right, if they either quit or got fired, I'm done. I'm done with Star Wars. But what worries me about this is that Disney will panic and interfere with Jon Favreau's vision of what the Mandalorian is. And we've seen this happen. We saw this happen after the disaster that was The Last Jedi. They went in and they tried to course correct and they gave us The Rise of Skywalker, which ultimately was just as bad as The Last Jedi. And of course, we know what happened after that. No, what Disney needs to do to stop the bleeding, it's very simple. They need to cancel all projects that do not have Jon Favreau or Dave Filoni attached. Because that was the problem with the Kenobi series. That was the problem with the Book of Boba Fett. The problem with The Last Jedi, Rise of Skywalker, you name it. They get these idiots who write and direct these Star Wars shows and movies. And they don't even understand Star Wars, right? I mean, look at the Kenobi series. Did that show feel like Star Wars to you? There was no Star Wars music. The, the themes were all messed up. And they did not understand that what the fans wanted was a show about Obi-Wan Kenobi. We don't want to watch a show about Reva. We don't give a fuck about Reva, dude. And that's why that show tanked. That's why the ratings sucked for that show when it ended. That's why no one rewatches that show. Till this day, I ignore it even exists. I scroll right past it because it hurts too much to see what they did to that show. It could have been beautiful. But let me know what you think down in the comments. And like always, don't forget to subscribe. Sensational.